The Division of Research and Economic Development would like to welcome you to Research Appreciation Week. This exciting week is designed to get the Aggie family and friends on the same innovative beat. Let's see what work is done here in the Fort IRC building and what some talented young researchers are up to. North Carolina a t State University is currently ranked number three for research funding out of the 16 universities that compose the UNC system. The university currently holds 19 patents for the inventions of its innovative faculty. As the only agricultural and technical university in the Piedmont Triad, the faculty here earn research revenues of $60.5 million for fiscal year 2011. Four spinoff companies have been formed at Vero, Premier Analytics, Provagen, and Filtar. The synthesis of teaching and research is fundamental to North Carolina a &T. Let's see what some of a and students are up to. Per purpose and point of our research is to produce nanofibers through a technique called electrospanning um, in order to use the nanofibers to coat um, magnesium so that it can deliver drugs um, and for drug and assistance with drug therapy and tissue regeneration in the body. My son was struck by a car and had a couple of broken bones. Um, they used titanium um, screws in order to um, hold the bones together in his shoulder. And I thought it was really, really difficult when we had to go back and have the screws removed. Using magnesium, I found in this lab that instead of using titanium, you can use magnesium possible make the screws and it will biodegrade in the body automatically. So angiogenesis is the technical term for blood groups. Um, so what we're doing is taking samples and testing their effect of, on angiogenesis in the fertilized chicken. And understanding angiogenesis helps us to better study um, cancer. It also helps us study different cardiovascular diseases. And studying angiogenesis we can develop new methods of addressing issues that people may have um, in developing new cancer drugs or new drugs for heart disease or different peripheral um, cardiovascular diseases. My research is feature extraction. So we incorporate genetic and evolutionary computations, which is an artificial intelligence technique, to evolve feature extraction techniques in order to reduce the computational cost of extraction while having an increased recognition accuracy. Whereas most feature extractors take up the entire facial image, the feature extractors that we evolve reduce the amount of image that we need to extract from, and it actually increases the recognition accuracy uh, when comparing facial images. These students are covering a lot of ground in the field of research, and a and faculty have guided them and continue to help pave the way with cutting edge research. Some of the university's latest achievements would include the $4 million extension of funding for the Engineering Research Center and the likely extension of its original five-year project for an additional three years, the launch of two graduate degree programs in nanoengineering and research funding of $3.5 million for the Department of Nanoengineering, and the university in conjunction with Guilford County Schools established a STEM-oriented early college high school at a and in the fall of 2012. Carolina a and State University, the future begins with our discovery and innovation, where we find solutions to fuel America, feed America, secure America, and heal America by moving it onward and upward. I'm Felicia Lawrence for the Division of Research and Economic Development here at North Carolina a and State University. Thanks for watching.